<clears throat> so morning all. Um, morning after show, morning after the night before. Not an awful lot to say about this one because obviously couldn't see the game, couldn't find it online anywhere. Um, wasn't at the game, obviously. Um, yeah, Newcastle United. Tell to say crash out the Carabao Cup, but by the sound of it, just sort of limped out. Um, from what I heard, from what I was listening to on Sky Sports News on the radio and stuff like that, pretty dull first half. Jeff Hendrick with a few. Excuse all the hairs on my face. I've just had a haircut. Um, Jeff Hendrick, a few long-range pile drivers, um, didn't really trouble Wayne Hennessy. But then Wayne Hennessy's gone on to have what I would describe as a game of his life. Um, Dwight Gale hit the crossbar. They, he's made saves from Dwight Gale, saves from Wayne Hennessy, saves uh, saves from Joe Linton, maybe uh, Javi Mankio, Jeff Hendrick. Um, it's then gone to penalties. Um, we have our best player step up to take the first penalty. It's just weird considering I think there was reports that he was holding his leg towards the end of the uh, end of full time. Um, not a great penalty at all. Burnley score four in a row. We miss, like I said, ASM miss. Joe Willock scores with a terrific penalty. Actually, the three we put in were terrific penalties. Joe Willock, Joe Linton, fantastic penalty right in the bottom corner. And... Um, Sean Longstaff, and I wasn't very confident for Sean's at all, but he buried it. Um, and then we have, so I think it was just prior to the Sean one, I think Hennis, uh, Wooden made a save. And then Almiron comes out and hits one of the worst penalties I've seen. Crap. Um, just doesn't hit it hard doesn't hit it it's not even it's not even done it's not down the middle it's like in between it's like uh, it's a good height for a goalkeeper he doesn't hit it hard and it's just oh crap so there we go out, out the cup some positives try and draw some positives um i think Bernie have one shot in 90 minutes we haven't conceded Bruno get down buddy we haven't conceded in 90 minutes, so we've gone from the first game, we conceded four goals. Second game, conceded two. This game, we've conceded none. So hopefully that continues. Um, we've created some good chances and we just haven't been able to finish them off. Um, do you put that down to team selection? You could argue if Callum Wilson was playing, he probably would have finished off some of them. Um, but we've got two strikes at the club and you've got, you know, you can't play one all the time. So, yeah, not many fan, not as many fans at the ground as there would be usually, but that's understandable at the minute. Um, when we go to Saturday, the game's coming thick and fast. I'll call it more. Yeah, so uh, please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll keep it rolling for Saturday. Shame, but that's us. One less competition we have to worry about, and it's sad that we're saying that in August, but it is what it is. Um, let's concentrate on the FA Cup, eh? You know, I was saying to my mate, West Ham fan, you know, I take any sort of success that comes our way, but if we had to choose, FA Cup's the one, isn't it? FA Cup's the one, but uh, yeah. On we go to Saturday, Southampton at home, huge game. Um, Southampton. I'm beaten in two after being dealt with pretty convincingly by Everton at Goodison. Um, they drew with United Man U and then they just smashed Newport County. The mighty Newport, who took us to penalties last season, just smashed them like 7-0. So they're going to be on a high. So yeah, we need to dial in. Defence needs to carry on like from tonight and hopefully get a result. Yeah, so please like, comment, subscribe and I'll see you later.